So here's a little internal meeting. We're just trying to figure out a best way to solve this problem. We're going to get Isaiah's point of view here, but um, just to set in the stage a little. So we're working with this voice access tool, which the Microsoft interface is horrible. So we're building our own interface. But I know this morning I noticed a little thing that I didn't I didn't like, and we're not sure how to the best way to solve it. Okay. So can you run so, it? Okay, sorry, we're on. Um, by the way, hold on. Let me make sure that this is running. No, you didn't. Uh, have to. No, I need to do this guy here. Oh yeah, right. I, I don't that icon that you chose. I don't know why I don't have it, but yeah. So I'm here. What what should so, I do? So, if you wanted to change the computer testing, you can select select here, and you can hit edit. Mm -hmm. Right now, oh, I wanted to say computer faking. Right, unfortunately, with the way we built this, and I'm not blaming Irfan at all because we we kind of came to this back way. That doesn't it ends up creating a new one because that word was right. our ID, the the word combo right. you had before. Right. So you don't end up editing it because now you're starting a new one because you changed the word. No, hold on. Oh, well, yeah, that, I, I, I understand this becomes the ID, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, that's that's basically exactly what I said the first time. Like when you guys were talking about this, I mean, where's the where's the shortcut to the file? I have created a shortcut that points yeah, to where yeah, the yeah, in, 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 in the old, by the yeah. way. We were just trying to clean up the... Right, that, that's fine. That uh, is good to have it closed so that we can open it. So that's basically Irfan, and I, and I mentioned that right away. Like, even though we know that this is kind of unique and that they are using it, I think we have to work with the IDs. And then... When you double click, when you choose edit, you will save the ID somewhere in a variable. And if that ID exists, then you're going to delete it first and remake it. Does that make sense? Okay. So, but, but you're not capturing the ID, but you should. You have to have that, especially when you click edit. So when you hit edit, the first thing you have to do is, well, find it. I think you're using this for finding it, right? What what are you using for finding when you click the utterance? Edit? It's the utterance, isn't it? Yeah, I I am looking for the utterances. Yeah, this one. This? Yeah. I'm creating well, You can only you can only have one utterance. Okay, so so okay, fine. But the problem is well, no, then then at that point you just have to save that. Because the idea is keeping track of which. So when you hit edit, you keep track of the utterance, right? And when you hit save, but... if you that in the editing object, then you go ahead and find it and delete it and re add it. First, delete it before actually, adding it. Actually, I am deleting it and, and uh, also changing it so so can you can you run the script well, uh yes. the, the what voice, we need to do voice is, is when you hit edit voice access next, H, okay when you hit edit and you hit next voice should... access hk no, hold on Irfan, Irfan. let me let me hear what joe is trying to say hold on so when you hit edit no we'll launch the gui but when, right. you, when you edit something when you hit uh -huh. next, it should it needs to rewrite the name of that thing to be the utterance. So it 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 that's where you're doing the updating to your point, Isaiah. Right. right. So here's what I so, say. Yeah. You know, if you hit if you because well wait now see that's where it's messed up also. The edit you can't change it. What we need to do is to be able to hit save. Like not on, you change it. Right. When you well, give it a new thing to say, we want it to edit that instance, not create a new one. Well, here's the problem with that. So let's say that I change this to true. Well, let's say that I don't have that. Let's say, let me go back. 
And this, Erfan, I think I've, you're noticing now why having the same button changed names is so weird. Because right here, oh, that closes the whole thing. That shouldn't close the whole program. No, it um, is, it, the whole program is running. Uh, you have okay. to. Right. So, so this main GUI should not disappear if I hit edit. You see that? Like, yeah. How do I go back to the main GUI? It, it, this is just a dialogue. This is not. You, you're just doing something temporary, and you will end up in the main GUI anyways. So now, look oh, at this. Okay. Look how this. When I click edit, this button says edit. Right. Yeah. Is is that correct? I don't think it yes. is. Yes. Yes, because we are modifying it. We can delete it because this oh, utterance, this utterance oh, already I'm exists. Sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. But here's the problem. What if I don't want to change the utterance? What if I want to change the hotkey that is being triggered? Yeah, but but I didn't design it that way. Now you have right. to delete it. <laughs> and, you see, that's and what I'm saying. Then create it. Let me show you what I was doing. So, so here's here's my version of it. So the idea here is I already created. So when I hit add, I get this GUI with everything that I can add into a new one and hit add. Good, no problem. But if I open this guy to edit, I get the same exact GUI. The only thing that changes is when I click add, I first check if that thing exists or not. That's the only thing that can I you, that. Can you can you create two script with same hot string? No, because I have an ID. And then and then if I hit add and that already exists, then I will replace it. I will not add a new one because it exists. My point to you is in the other tool, on the voice access tool, where is it? You don't have the said, Oh, here. All right. So if I close that, where is it? How can I go back to it? Yeah, the, the guy the, with the headphone. This guy? I thought yeah. okay. I have the icon. He's so weird. I get an error, but yeah, whatever. Oh, that's not it. Um, Did the control shift L. Yeah, control shift now, now, so from here, when I hit edit, I should get the exact same experience that I have ever gotten, right? Now, I should get a quick shortcut if I want to save very quickly, right? But it, you don't know what I want to change. Well, you want to change just the utterance. Yeah, what if I want to change the group? What if I want to change the hotkey? What if I wanted to do something else? I want to say the same thing, but change something else. Right now, you're fixing it so that I can only change the utterance, right? What happens when I click edit? What yeah, happens when you, I... you can modify the computer testing utterance. So you can change the action. Okay, so, so, so hold on. If I hit now edit. Yeah, you, it, it is telling you it is doing control F. Right, but okay. this is this is actually weird. The word edit here makes no sense to me because we already pressed because, because edit. The, the, the thing is, is this, when you are in that first one, you're not actually in the computer testing. You can still select between them. And that's, and that, again, that's not Irfan's oh, fault. We started off with this mean. approach. Oh, I yeah. see, okay. Yeah. Now, I want to change this. Okay, so I say testing or computer test. Now that's a totally that's one that does not exist at all. Right. But you said that you were editing something, so that's the that's so. I think the problem here is this view. Yeah. This view is repeated because this is the same as this. Because in here I already chose the one that I want. You see what I mean? So when I click edit, why should I choose again the one that I want? You know, like you're you're, you're doing the same step twice, I guess. The, I, I think when I hit okay, edit, yeah, I can, just, that's I not Irfan's fault. Our our order no, changed. That's okay. you know, no, that's okay. The point is why the, why it feels so weird is because I think you're doing the same step twice, I guess. Because um, this was for main GUI and just today. The other GUI become uh, the, tomorrow. See yesterday. Sorry, 
Right. I, I think I understand what you mean. Account. Right. Yeah. Now, this thing should be a dialogue, right? So that's what I do here. Like, for example, when I double click, it is a dialogue. The main script does not disappear. It is always on top of the main one, right? So it's on top of the main one. But the okay. main one should because as soon as I finish, I'm gonna go back to the original one, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't want that going away anywhere. So, so I because will, we're editing. I, I can change it. So what is being needed here? Right uh, now, but I will try to do it with a simple way. I do not change whole code. So, yeah. So I, oh, I, I will do. I will do some trick. Yeah, I, no, well, no, I think it's simple because we have the ad here, right? And that comes right, we have the ad. That's for a new edit. one, right? But the the list when you hit edit, hit edit, or add doesn't matter. That is no longer a a combo Wait, box. That, that should be yeah, the same. That's that should this, be the same. Well, this will this will become this will become the edit box, and right. I will remove the delete button from here. Right. And you don't need to it, choose anything. You're yeah, already yes, in it. Yes. Right. However, hit, hit cancel. Well, go back to your other menu, which also I agree. We need a cancel button, right? Yeah. But control shift L. Um, here, well, you do have the delete. So good. Sorry. I didn't know we yes. had. You can delete yeah. from here. Yeah, that's, that's why I just noticed like you have the same thing twice, right? Because so, you, you, so, 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 those so, so, so click edit, click edit. Try to change the trigger, like like uh, click on the run, run, run program. Click on the run. So it is not doing it because, because right. yeah, it is fixed. So what I will yeah. do is like I will remove that condition. I will change right. this combo box, and right. then yeah, I then you use user have freedom me, to change everything. Let me let me tell you something. In here. That should never be a combo box because you already have the list in here. Well, but and again, you want to add a new one. Let me ask yeah. you this, Joe. But so no, I know, but how does this? You got to keep in mind that other one was an afterthought. <laughs> right. Yeah, yes. yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it, which it, it, was, it was supposed to be the other way around, right? So right. the other one was the main booty, right? Right. But yeah. So basically, what's going on is yeah. This now needs... this this is our main GUI, and now this is our like right. pop up window right yes definitely and this would be now you see the part that you are fixing the, the the changing of it that's exactly what i meant like oh when i'm editing now you're restricting what i can do no <laughs> what if i want to change what it does what if you, you're telling me the only thing that you can change is this unless you hit edit and when i hit edit it's only the trigger that i can change yeah you, you don't know what i want to change you cannot just force me to be only able to change one thing so at this point, now that you understand more or less what's going on, so this becomes the main GUI now, right? Well, and we have you one other question. Those things like of oh, deleting, choosing, yep. then this other view should not have this or that. That that's not about that. Yeah. And any restrictions about what I can change, that's gone. And this is a child window, right? Where the other one doesn't. Yeah, disappear. that should be a child window. Yeah. Or, or yeah. So now the other thing is, let's say that we we have that. So so let's have. This guy, right? Ooh. Right. So when I have this, now you have to keep track of what you picked. Now you pick this thing, now, right? Now now I will that use ID. Right. That now, should be an available. Yeah, now I will use ID for that. Well, if you wanted to. But the point is, whatever you're choosing, which is unique, right? You have yes. to keep it in a variable so that if I change this to another thing, now, okay. when I hit next, what you're doing is editing the existing one because you have to keep track of you had an existing one, right? Yes. If that ID or that utterance exists, you're not going to delete. Well, you will have to delete. Oh, no, hold on. Can you modify the JSON object and then save it like that? I think you can, right? You just yeah, modify we, the object we, we when you save so yeah. it saves the whole thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So basically, and this is a very interesting topic. On the one hand, you have a file like this, right? But your script is reading this file into an object temporarily to modify it. And once you finish modifying, it replaces the whole file, right? Yes. So your object becomes your staging area in which you can make a lot of changes. And if yes. you don't want to 
if you don't want to save it, you just don't save the object. That's it. But that means everything you're doing here, you're going to be working with the object. So editing works with the object, not the file. And once you finish editing all the object, and that means that I could save a few things from here, change the utterance, and then change the thing, and then change the, the action. It's just at the end when you hit save, that's when it, everything is going to go to the file, and then it reloads voice access. So I think the main confusion here was that now yeah. this GUI is something that the other so do it. Yeah, so they, they're, they're coupled, and they're doing the same thing. Right. Yeah. And then one other thing. Nope, nope, don't stop. <laughs> what I also really, yeah, exit out of this one, but uh, keep the, now on here, what I realized because, and I'm sure you, you've realized it too, is, is, is like, hey, I don't always have that voice access tool running and it's right. not yes. easy necessarily to find. So why don't we have a button here to, you that know, starts, have, yeah, yeah, start yeah. voice access, yeah. It just happened to me that it crashed because I was testing something, it crashed and I didn't start it, right? And then when I was gonna run this one, I was like, oh, voice access is not running. Maybe when you run this script, well, but no, it could crash at any moment. So we need a button right. here to voice access. Right. To start voice access, yeah. And in here you need a cancel button as well. So whenever you're editing, you need a cancel right. button. Cool, okay. Right. Yeah, and again, that, it, that second tool was an afterthought, which you know is why we got in this situation. It wasn't is it yeah. an issue. I think I think that ties into a bigger topic of, and you have said this before, like, hey, we should plan the script before creating it, right? Now, plans can change. That's where the way how you code is going to be a headache for you later, or it's going to be easy for you later to add or remove changes. In this case, it's not a big headache. It's just like two things were doing the same thing. But that's why you have to do those kind of things. You have to save yourself the time of, as you said, Irfan, like, oh, I don't want to rewrite the whole thing, right? So yeah. you said, I'm going to do some tricks, right? But what if you couldn't do the trick and you have to rewrite the whole thing? Yeah, that's when you yeah. have to make, your, to make yourself things easier. Yeah, this, to do. Th this time, I just have to disable a few controls and remove some events, and then it, I'm right. good to go. Right. <laughs> Just imagine if you if you had everything in one big function and stuff like that, that would be a nightmare. Yeah, that, that would that, the whole function. Yeah, that would be a great nightmare. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, right, well, it's, a, it's an important topic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, please like if you learned something that video. Cheers. Thank you.